guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Designer Slash Gamer. I love to design and I love to game. And when I get to do both of them at the same time, ah, it's magic. <laughs> you guys, today we are playing Lego Worlds. You guys remember Sheila? She's on her night dragon right now. She's bouncing up and down. She's checking out Ivory City. We're looking at how beautiful Chinatown is so far. So in this episode, we're going to continue working on Chinatown. We actually have a really good idea. Let's go over here. Let's take our night dragon right over here and check this out. So we want to build an outdoor marketplace. When I visited China, I bought some really cool stuff and some beautiful outdoor marketplaces. And so I think it'd be really cool to have a beautiful marketplace right in this area in Chinatown, like an open air marketplace. And what we're going to do is we're going to use inspiration from this temple gate building. This is one of the buildings that was available for download from the main screen, one of the highlight brick builds. And I think you might be able to still get it if you get the uh, DLC pack from the Steam store or from whatever uh, platform you're playing on. So what we wanna do is we wanna copy portions of this and then we're going to create an open air marketplace. So we're going to have this kind of, same kind of building. It's going to be either a U shape or an O shape and it'll have this same architecture and it's gonna go right over here. Before we start building the marketplace, we're gonna go on a really fun adventure. One of our viewers, Connor, wants us to show some baby dragons. We haven't done that yet, and we think that's a great idea to show some baby dragons. So you need to throw dragon eggs in lava to get baby dragons. So here's what we're gonna do. If you guys have been watching this series for a while, then you'll remember episode seven. In that episode, Sheila found a red dragon named Dexter. <gasps> Um, Sheila, I know you studied, um, dinosaurs, but I hope you've studied some dragons. And I hope you know if this is a nice dragon or not. Hey, hey, dragon. Um, what do you want? Can we give you something? Um... You guys, we are on a big red dragon, and we didn't even have to give it a hobbit. <laughs> In a land that's not too far from the Ivory Tower. Not too far from Ivory City. It's over, we'll have to look at the map, but I think it's over in this direction. So we're gonna go and head over there since we haven't been there since episode seven. That's the place where we first found a dragon, and there's some lava there, and we can hatch some baby dragons. You guys, the night dragon is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> Why don't we fly over Ivory City really quick? And let's fly past the hotel that we're building. So if you guys are watching our other series, Designing and Building in Lego Worlds, we are building this beautiful hotel. It's amazing, look at this. It's a huge hotel for the viewers. It's for you guys. Uh, there are windows here, they just don't show up unless you get really close to the building. <laughs> so every single floor is decorated, they're beautiful. They're all decorated for people to live in and we also have balconies on the front. Here, let's go over here so we can see it a little bit better. We have balconies on the front. You guys, look at that. It's massive. And right now we're working on the lobby down here. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty amazing when it's all done, but it's already looking pretty good. All right, let's keep flying over here. So this is the police station right here. And in a future episode, we actually want to build a fire station right around in here. That'll be pretty neat. This is the soccer field. This is Sheila's Park. If you get in closer, you can see a bunch of really cool uh, play equipment. There's a merry-go-round, there's a slide, all kinds of fun stuff. And then of course you guys know and recognize the ivory tower. This is Sheila's home. She's been building this since I believe episode two. It's been a long time. And it's beautiful. The only thing is, Sheila, with as awesome as the hotel looks, <laughs> 
because we put a lot of detail into the hotel and it's really quite beautiful. With as awesome as it looks, it's kind of making the ivory tower look a little bit basic. So we're going to have to do some renovations on the ivory tower and bring it up to the same level as the hotel. Because, I mean, it, ivory tower is really cool, don't get me wrong, but it just, it needs a little work. So we're going to work on that in a future episode. So let's keep flying here. This is Wild Style's house. She's our DJ friend. Uh, you can't see it right now. Well, there it is. That's the King's Burger Kingdom. The entry is right here. That's where you can go down and you can get overpriced burgers, but they are delicious because they're flame broiled. This is the gas station. That's where our uh, friend, well, frenemy, Rhonda works. That's the diner. And that is the Coral Derby. That's the roller skating rink in Ivory City. In the last episode, we had a really fun derby with all of our friends. It was really fun. And the consensus is that Team Red won. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Was it Team Red or Team Black? All right, so let's go a little bit further. So here we've got Chinatown, which you guys just saw. Here's the church. We built that in our other series, Designing and Building in LEGO Worlds. We actually built that right around Halloween time. So you guys should check out that episode. And then if you keep flying further here, this is the drive-in movie theater. It's super fun. We've watched a cup. We've watched a few movies there. It's pretty exciting being out there. Uh, let's see. Let's. Why don't we fly past the uh, Eiffel Tower over here? This is the Eiffel Tower. We built that from the original Lego plans for New Year's Eve. Let's keep going this way. This is our friend Max. He's our awesome builder friend who does our designing and building in Lego World series. This is his house. It's a cliff house. It comes out from the edge of the cliff. It's got this infinity pool. It's incredible. And over here, I haven't shown this to you guys yet, but we're actually laying the foundation for a future project right by the dino park. So you guys should guess what that is and let me know in the comment section what you think that's going to be. It's going to be a really cool, fun future project. So. Let me know what you guys think it's going to be in the comment section. This over here is our dino park. It's where we keep our uh, dinosaur friends, Rex. We've got Raquel the Raptor down here somewhere. Although we did recently find one of the raptors kind of roaming around Ivory City. Somehow they got out. I don't know how because the fence is electrified. But somehow that Raquel, she got out. She made it out somehow. That is our eagle, Ernesto. It's our bald eagle. I think we unlocked Ernesto. Ooh, I don't remember. I think it was like episode, don't quote me, like 40-ish, maybe? Maybe, maybe? All right, that, oh wait. You know what, we're actually missing, we didn't show you guys Elle's house. So one of our friends, our friend Elle, there we go, she lives up in the clouds. You guys have seen her house before. It's pretty amazing. It's right up here. She lives up here in the clouds. It looks like she's hanging out with uh, Rhonda. We've got, <laughs> we've got a unicorn over here, a bunch of kitty cats. That's our friend-ish, Rhonda. That's our other friend, Barbara. She's a pirate. And this is Elle's house. It's a beautiful house in the clouds, and she gets to look down at Ivory City, which, you guys, it looks huge from up here. So the only thing we really didn't show you yet was the pirate ship. So let's go down here a little bit, and we'll check out the pirate ship. So I think it was episode 40, 41, right around there. A couple of pirates crash landed near the ivory tower right over here and they decided to renounce the life of piracy and they turned their ship into a beautiful fine dining restaurant it's called la pirata loca you guys the food at la pirata loca is delicious oh look there's piper hey piper are you getting takeout what's up bro you getting some takeout oh piper's fighting a skeleton let's see who's gonna win I'm gonna bet on Piper. He's pretty tough. Come on, Piper, get him! Get him, 
Well, this is perfect timing. It's morning time in Ivory City. I like nighttime a lot, but it's a little bit dark and kind of hard to see at night, so it's kind of better to travel in the morning time. So we're going to head over in this direction. We're passing the hotel, and then we're going to go down here, and we're going to fly by Sheila's beach house. It's right down in here somewhere. There it is. This is Sheila's beach house. It's where she comes to hang out when she's tired. And you guys know Sheila does a lot. So she does get she does get a little bit tired. So it's nice to have a place where she can just relax and go fishing and build sand castles and, and hang out. She has a little helicopter over here. It's a pretty fun little place. She likes going to her beach house. It's awesome. Alright, so in episode 7, let's go upwards here. In episode 7, we journeyed in this direction. So I believe this is where we will find the place that we first found a dragon. And there's also lava over there. So we'll be able to hatch some baby dragons. Alright, are we going the right way? I think we're going the right way. This should be an island. Like a round island. Let's see. Is it? There's the white dragon. There's frostbite. Yes. Okay. So we need to keep going this way. We're looking for a volcanic island that Sheila discovered forever. Well, it feels like forever ago. It's over here somewhere. Yes, is this it? <gasps> this is it, you guys! We found it! Okay, let's get down here and let's hop off the dragon. So you guys see these craters right here? When Sheila first discovered the dragon, she shot some fireballs. And these are the craters right here from episode 7. It's kind of cool going down memory lane here and discovering some of the things we did in the past. It's pretty cool. Right, Sheila? Do you remember this place? You do? You do? Okay. It is time to hatch some baby dragons. Guys, look at all these werewolves. It's a pretty scary place. Look at them over here. What's going on, bro? All right, guys. So in order to spawn a baby dragon, you have to throw a dragon egg onto some lava. So we've got a nice little stretch of lava right here. This is a perfect spot to throw a baby, baby dragon egg. All right, so let's get out a dragon egg. Look at all these. We only have one of each, so we need to be careful here. We do have two of the water dragons though, so maybe that's a good one to test on. This, and then let's aim. Let's throw it right here. Did it work? Did it work? What does he want? Do we have a fish? We have an orange fish! Yay! We got him! You guys, that was easier than I thought it would be. You just have to make sure. After you throw the... Uh, let's pick him up here. After you guys look. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm freaking out. Sorry, I don't mean to freak out. It's just, I haven't seen these baby dragons yet in the game. And I can't believe how cute they are. I don't know if they grow into big dragons or if they stay this size. Anyway, back to hatching them. So you throw the egg in the lava like you saw Sheila do. And you have to make sure that you have what they're looking for. And I think each of them wants something different. This one wanted an orange fish, which thankfully we had. Oh, hey! Uh, which thankfully we had. So we got to unlock him. And I wonder if he's going to follow us around. We should see what this uh, kimono lady wants. Oh, hey, kimono lady! Oh, Greetings! I had traveled a long way to reach these lands in search of a great samurai castle. I feel so close yet so far. You're pretty far. There's no samurai castle anywhere. Anywhere near here. In fact, even on this world. I don't suppose you can show me the way. 
You want us to build you a... Oh, she wants us to... Should we build a samurai castle for her? We do have one. I don't see why not. I mean... We don't come over here very often, so it's okay if we, you know, change the landscape quite a bit. Here it is. Alright, let's... Where are we gonna... This thing is huge, you guys. Can we put it right... We don't want to cover over these footprints because that is like history. But we could put it... We could put it like right here. Is this a weird spot though? Do you guys ever see samurai castles in the desert? With palm trees? I don't think you do, but it's okay. Uh, let's... Ready? Here we go! <gasps> Perfect. Okay, is she happy? Did we get her? No. Do you want to? Oh, I guess we have to take her inside here. Come here. Come here, lady. You're here. This is a samurai castle. Does she realize? Do you realize you're in there? She doesn't get it. Well. I guess we won't be unlocking her today because she doesn't quite understand that she's here in the samurai castle. But that's okay, because you guys, we have an adorable blue dragon. Let's pick him up. So you can pick him up by pressing E. Oh. We need to get away from samurai lady so she doesn't think we're pressing E on her. Okay, there we go. Click. Oh, there we go. You can right mouse click to pick up the blue dragon. I don't think they grow into adult dragons. I think they probably stay, they probably stay this size. So we need a name for this adorable baby water dragon. So think of a good name and put it in the comment section. But for now, we're gonna drop the, uh, we're gonna drop the baby water dragon and we're going to hatch another dragon. Hi guys, hi guys. The pigs are so skittish. Okay, so I think it's probably better to find a spot that has like a little stretch of lava. The same place that we hatched this little guy. Because that way it's easy for the dragon to climb out of the lava. So let's go back over here. Let's see, where was that? Look at all these kitties. Hi, guys. Hi, kitties. Hi, kitties. Oh, no. No, you guys, be nice to the dragon. Oh, did you start that? It does matter who starts it. My parents used to always say, it doesn't matter who starts it. I think it does. <laughs> I think it does. It does matter who starts it. Oh wait, they always used to say, it doesn't matter who starts it, it matters who finishes it. I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's put another baby, baby dragon right here. Okay, why don't we do, let's do a gold baby dragon. We only have one of these eggs, so let's hope we do this right. Let's hope we have what it wants. Okay, so we're gonna aim and throw it right here. Okay. Where's the dragon? There he is. Come here, dragon. E, what does he want? A golden apple, which we had, yay! Is he stuck? He's stuck, so you know what you guys can do? If they get stuck, you can raise them up with the add terrain feature. So we're gonna go down here, and we're going to raise him up here so he doesn't get stuck and die in the lava. Come here, dragon. Can we go right here and raise him up? Uh-oh. Dragon? Is he still stuck in there? Baby dragon? Where are you? Huh. Well, don't take my advice. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got him. Okay, come here, little guy. Come here. Come here, little gold dragon. Let's pick him up. You guys, look at the gold dragon. 
Where'd our blue dragon go? There he is. Okay, so now we have a baby gold dragon. We have a baby blue dragon. So let's get some more dragons. Uh, let's put this guy down right here. Oh wait, we don't wanna put him here. This is like hot lava. Let's pick him up. Let's put him, it's hot rock. Let's put him right here. Okay. You guys be good, stay right there. Be good. I always tell that, I always say that to my dogs before I leave for work. I'm like, be good guys, be good. I don't know why I say that, because of course they're good. They're always good. <laughs> okay, so let's throw another uh, dinosaur egg. Dinosaur. Yeah. No, these aren't dinosaurs. They're dragons. Shiny the gold dragon is. So the baby gold dragon also needs a name. So think of a good name. Let's get another egg out and make another baby. Should we do a fire dragon? Okay, let's aim. Throw it right here. Okay, what does he want? No, put that away, shoot. What do you want, buddy? Come here. Ooh. Okay, is he gonna be able to jump out? What does he want? He wants a stake, which I think we have a stake. Yes! Okay, we're gonna have to discover. And hopefully he can make his way out of there. Can you make your way out, buddy? Can you make your way out? Come here, buddy. There we go. Now he'll follow us. And he won't stuck in the lava. Yay! Okay, guys, come follow me. Are you following? Yep, yeah, look at him, guys. <laughs> so the baby red fire dragon also needs a name. Okay, so then we have, we don't have the white dragon egg. I don't even know if there's a white dragon egg, you guys. I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comment section. Um, let's do a night dragon. All right, let's come over here. And let's aim and drop it in. Okay, let's see, what does he want? Careful, Sheila. Okay, let's see. He wants a pumpkin. We have that. Oh, where'd he go? Discover him? Oh, shoot. Where is he? Dang it. Do we lose him? Oh, no. You guys, I think we lost him. Dang it. Where is he? Shoot! That was our only night dragon egg. Ugh. He gone. <gasps> no, there he is! Whew! That was a close call. He's really hard to see. He blends in with the uh, with the black ground. Look at the little night dragon. Let's pick him up. Hey, you guys better not be attacking our dragons. Hey, get out of here! Quit, quit attacking our dragons. Get. Get out of here. Okay, so now we have a... <laughs> Look at all these guys. Let's go over here. Come here, dragons. So, you guys gonna follow us? Ooh, someone left an apple. So now we have a red dragon, we have a gold dragon, we have a night dragon, and we have a water dragon. And they're all babies. And they're all adorable. Because look at them. <laughs> so that is all the dragons that we can unlock for now. We will keep looking for the eggs for a white dragon. And isn't there another dragon? The candy dragon, the pink dragon. We'll keep looking for eggs for those guys and we'll see if we can get some more baby dragons. But for now, we have a lovely collection of baby dragons. Look at all these guys and they're all sleeping. We got Lady Meowington, our cat over here. Is she following the dragons? <laughs> I think, you guys, I think Lady Meowington thinks that the dragons are mice. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> oh man. You guys, they make the cutest little sounds. They make really, really adorable little uh, mini dragon sounds. Hey bunny. This is not a safe place for you. I feel like you should get out of here. This is just the worst place for a little fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy bunny rabbit. 
you should go somewhere safer like uh, Fantasy Forest. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to head back to Ivory City and we're going to start working on our marketplace in Chinatown. And we're going to bring all of our sweet baby dragons with us. And they're going to hang out in Chinatown.
All right, guys, we are all done building the Chinese marketplace for now, and it looks, it looks pretty incredible. Sheila did, Sheila did a really, really good job on this one. We have these beautiful dog statues out here. We have these steps that go up to the marketplace and they also go to the Eiffel Tower. And then we have an incredible market that's full of all kinds of stuff. There's bananas and apples and baguettes and turkeys and stinky fish and steak. We also have an ATM back here because of course, you know, you're gonna need to get out some money. And you can also hang out and sit in the beautiful benches and just enjoy the incredible marketplace and the amazing view of the Eiffel Tower. You guys, the marketplace is so cool and I hope, we've, I mean, we've already got a couple citizens coming down here to check it out. I hope all the citizens come down here and they hang out and they buy lots of cool stuff because this is, this is pretty cool, you guys. And Chinatown is only going to get better from here. All right, guys, now that we are done building, oh, look at this troublemaker. Oh, you jerk, come here. Sheila, get him. She's gonna attack him with a banana, apparently. They always just come at the most inopportune times. And he gave us a potion. Okay, that reminds me. So one of you guys wanted us to throw the yellow potion and see what it does. So let's let's try doing that because we don't we don't have any idea what happens. Sometimes when you throw certain objects in Lego worlds, different things happen. So this is a yellow potion. It's a magic potion. But we don't know what it does. So we're gonna throw it. We're gonna throw it right now. We're gonna throw it right there. <gasps> what the heck is that? Good thing I didn't throw it at the marketplace. What is this thing? Is it a, it's a giant yellow crystal, is it gold? I think it's a giant gold. You know, you guys, I mean, because it's gold, it kind of goes with our theme here. We might just keep it. Thank you for the suggestion, Connor, because now we have a really cool gold uh, giant crystal near the uh, marketplace. It's kind of perfect. Okay, let's get our friends moved in to Ivory City. We're gonna put you guys in the marketplace so you can buy some awesome stuff. All right, so first we have Eleanor and she wants to be the cheerleader. We're gonna place her right here in the marketplace so she can buy some steaks or some fish. Next we have Pierce, his favorite color is blue and he wants to be Jay. Let's get him placed. There we go. Okay, so we put the wrong character down for our friend Parth. He wanted to be the Nindroid from Ninjago. So we're gonna place him. There we go. Next we have Gujita. I have no idea how to pronounce that and I'm sorry if I messed it up, but they want to be Lloyd and their favorite color is blue. So we're gonna get them placed right here. Welcome to Ivory City, you guys. So you guys, I'm glad it's nighttime right now because now I get to show you what the marketplace looks like at night. I mean, look at this. We're gonna have to go up to the ivory tower in the next episode and look down because I'm sure it looks pretty amazing from up there too. But look at how pretty this is, you guys. Right next to the Eiffel Tower. Oh, there's the wizard. Hey, buddy. And there's all these beautiful red lights here at night. So it's so pretty, look at this. In each of the little uh, archways here, there's also a pretty red light lantern and we have the stars back there, it's beautiful. <laughs> all right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna follow Sheila's amazing adventures in Lego worlds, then please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching guys, Bye bye